Welcome to the Office of Insular Affairs Funding and Focus. Every year, OIA awards discretionary funds to the U.S. territories and the freely associated states. In July of 2024, OIA grant managers visited the Northern Mariana Islands to conduct site visits on previously funded projects. Today's focus is on funding provided to the CNMI to combat the invasive velvet bean vine, also known as Makuna pruriens. My name is Natasha Tomukani. I am the new Invasive Species Coordinator for the CNMI, uh, Department of uh, Lands and Natural Resources. Um, and I'm so happy that we were able to have our grantor visit and kind of look at um, what programs that they fund, um, specifically the Mokuna vines uh, behind me, if you can see here. Um, our community uh, has uh, symptoms when the vines are in season um, and their lifespan is seasonal. But particularly with the uh, velvet bean, um, when they become uh, this older and, and, and kind of curl up like that, we know that the fibers are gonna start um, becoming airborne. So when these fibers um, float in the air and come in contact with your skin, it is, it's like your skin is burning everywhere. Um, so we're thankful that OIA is able to provide funding in order for us to continue to c contain the, and mitigate the impacts of the, the Mukuna vines. Um, and they're spread out island-wide, so it's, it's uh, I think, important to recognize that we need to figure out a, an effective path forward in how to control the spread of this invasive species. So in the residential areas, when this, when these um, come out to season and are airborne, um, our people are already uh, routinely living life around it where they won't come out um, of their homes because of the uh, uh, health impacts. This is a very... Um, it starts yeah. right here, all the way down. That cover. So during ra rainy season, the... the that's not part of the lifespan where the beans come out, so people will frequent this area. But you really know when it's coming out because nobody will come here. <laughs> this nobody will come here. Really, they try and avoid it because the kids. We're learning that the kids have a lower tolerance for the symptoms that the makuna has on the body, um, and obviously the kids are the ones that like the beach, right? <laughs> so it comes out in dry season. That's when the beans kind of. Um, their uh, fibers come oh. off and they float around and that's what when it, it comes into contact with your skin you're scratching as if you want to rip your skin off um, and a lot of the our people get a rash and have respiratory symptoms so we prioritize the Mukuna in residential areas that we treat because we can't get everything for sure I've already drafted the framework for our outreach program and we're establishing a hotline just because we feel like some people still in the areas just kind of deal with it like they, they feel like they just have grown maybe a tolerance for it I'm not sure but I feel like a lot of our community members are not aware about um, where it's at and maybe if, if there's areas that we haven't identified call us so we can make sure that we put in data and we address the issues in those areas so I'm excited to establish an outreach program uh, communications outreach program where we're going to establish a hotline where they can call and then we're also going to amplify our um, our community outreach efforts and start you know um, a road yeah. show around the island to increase the education um, with our people if we if they call us and we come and do an assessment if the vines are on the ground growing we will spray with pesticides and they'll eventually die but if they're already um, climb, uh, growing up towards a tree and we're unable to to pull from there we will uproot mm. um, from the bottom mm. and that would eventually so how, how often do you get these phone calls you say it's so, like maybe once a month so or? we yeah so we have areas in the general um, public that we uh, um, we um, apply pesticides at but we have it just in the last six months I, I believe our I want to say that there was 27 in the recent progress report that I submitted so it's almost maybe a few a month um, and we're learning that some of them are recurring um, 
but a lot of them are becoming new places and we really want to find them before they get, get up the tree because it's harder to to uh, address when they're already you know up the tree established roots we gotta do more groundwork but we definitely all can agree that we don't want them here 